you know, there's a lot, this, the, the US version of Wilfred has a lot going on psychologically that didn't exist in the world of Wilfred, uh, either, in the, either in the original short film or in uh, the Australian TV series. And uh, so sometimes it can be an arm wrestle in the writer's room between funny and psychological. And we have 22 minutes of television each week. We've got to tell a story and it's got to also be funny. And often that means that um, when it comes to story and comedy, the story, the story will win. And, and, um, and, I, and, and that could be a point of frustration for me because um, I'm here because I'm funny. I'm here, that's, that's what got me here and that's what I'm paid to do, so I want, I want it to be really funny. Towards the end of the se uh, season one, and again, and again in this season, um, we, as, as the story starts paying off from all the build-up, there's less and less moments to be funny. So, um, I was concerned about that, but now having been able to see the show, see the response, I realised that, um, that it works and we can afford to do that, and that because we've created such strong characters, that, um, that people will uh, are prepared to listen more and, and really go along this journey. So um, I think that we we start things kind of surreal again this year, almost counterbalances the finale. But then we kind of uh, start fresh again and light things up, and it becomes like um, a fun kind of sitcomy wolf root for a while, and then it starts. Then we ramp it up a bit, and we, we start twisting the knife and, and making things weirder. So I guess I guess um, I mean sometimes I feel like I live in a, in a, in a bubble because I. I work, you know, six or seven days a week, and, and, I, um, and I live with two cats. And I drive, you know, when we're supposed to be shooting the show, I, I leave. It's dark when I leave. It's dark when I come home. And then I, if it weren't for um, Facebook, I probably wouldn't even know I'm on TV. But um, but um, it's it's slowly starting to um, to open, it's opening doors for me. Um, I came to America, to, you know, to make the best TV in the world. You know, I like it's where the best TV is being made, and and um, and it's created an opportunity for me to to make more TV and, and film beyond beyond this. So um, when I first came here, actually, I just came to to pitch. Um, I wanted to sell formats to two of the shows I've created back home, and uh, I had no intention of being in them. And I showed people. I just wanted to be a writer in, in Hollywood, and then. Everyone who saw them just said, "You got to be in this, you know. Like you're really good." And so I just went, oh, "Okay." Um, so I would never. I, I don't think I would have come to America to try and be successful as an as a actor. I'm probably a bit too sensitive for that. <laughs> it's just too cruel, you know. Um, but I but I really believed in my abilities as a writer and, and I unintentionally sold myself as a comic performer. So. Um, yeah, I don't go to many parties and things like that, but I, you know, I definitely can get meetings with people. Yeah, definitely. I, look, I, I find some of the funniest moments is when, uh, I mean, when, when you, it's one thing to see how Wilfred acts, but then you see it through Ryan's eyes and you see his response. One of my favourite moments is when Wilfred does the, the pole dancing, and uh, which is some excellent pole dancing, but then you just see um, the rise of the see it, and then just go back to the conversation like, this is what happens now, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like, and, uh, and when 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 Ryan starts to kind of play the game and, and stand up to Wilfred, it, part of you is going, yeah, go Ryan, but the other part is thinking, Are you, you, this, this is insane, this is a dog, you know? Now you're, Wilfred is like, the more Ryan reacts to Wilfred, the more Wilfred really wins. Because he's actually he's giving in and saying, "Yeah, I am now officially talking to a dog." And it's kind of, I definitely am a lot more freer in that dog suit. Like I'm a lot less self-conscious, and I just kind of just have so much fun. I I do things that I probably would never do as a as I was playing him. So um, yeah, I, look, he's definitely people. Our friends, friends of mine, when they first saw the short film, said, "That's just you in a dog suit." I, I think Wilfred is part me. Thanks for me uh, on a bad day. Oh. <laughs>